Welcome to Top Down Tech, where we take a look at tech from the top to the bottom. Today we have the Tinko iFloor 3, which is a cordless wet and dry vacuum cleaner. And as you might have seen on my thumbnail, I did claim that this is my new best friend and that is an absolute fact. Now, this is not going to be a very in-depth review because I've had only one month using the Tinko iFloor 3, but hopefully you still pick up something from the experience that I'll be sharing with you guys. All right, so let's start with the unboxing experience. What you get are the following. So first off, there's a HEPA filter. And then we have the three-in-one cleaning tool, a charging base, and of course the charging adapter. And then we have a deodorizing and cleaning solution. And of course, the vacuum. The vacuum comes with a handle and the handle is where you'll find the power buttons. You have the regular power button and then you have the adjustment to the power. And then right on top of the handle, you can find the one touch cleaning system. And then the vacuum has four parts. You have the LED display, you have the clean water tank, you have the dirty water tank, and you have the roller. And that's about it for the vacuum unboxing experience. Now, this does come with a manual and I do advise that you read it, but from my actual experience, I just went straight to setting it up and I was able to finish setting it up in just a few minutes and I was already cleaning right off the bat. Now, let's go to my actual user experience. My unit already came with about two bars of charge and I was able to use it for about 10 to 15 minutes, give or take. And the experience is just so easy. The power button is right on the handle. You can see it with this button. Even those who don't have any experience with a wet and dry vacuum cleaner will have an easy time trying to use this for the first time. And I'm actually a first time user myself. And the only thing that's really different from a dry vacuum cleaner is that you have to fill this little tank with some water. So once you fill up the tank with a mixture of water and solution, you can start cleaning your floor already. And in an instant, you already notice the dirt that's coming in of the vacuum cleaner because this bottom part right here is the tank where the dirty water comes in. And this is where it sucks in all of the dry dirt as well. So it's going to be a mixture of dry dirt plus water or dirty liquid. So it really depends on what you're cleaning on the floor. As you can see here in this example, we did clean a table with some hot sauce and some chocolate in there. So you can see that the color of the liquid that gets sucked in really depends on what you're cleaning. And what I appreciate about this is that it takes in almost all of the things that are on the floor. Whether it be human hair, pet hair, it doesn't matter because it's gonna get sucked in. Now, I don't have any test for the actual suction power, but I can attest that it's very strong. It's quite strong. Now, one thing you need to know about the Tinko iFloor 3 is that this is meant to clean hard floors, including hardwood, laminate, tile, linoleum, vinyl, and marble. So this is not really meant for carpets, especially the thick ones. However, I did test this on a gaming mat. As you can see here, I'm using it on the Cougar gaming mat, and it's quite effective in cleaning something like this. So if you do have a non-thick carpet, like the one that I'm showing you right now, this could potentially work on your carpet. You do have to take note that after cleaning the carpet, it's gonna be a little damp because of course there is some liquid that's cleaning your carpet as well. I haven't been using my Cougar gaming mat for a while because of the fact that I can't really clean it using my regular dry vacuum. But after I received the Tinko iFloor 3, I was so excited to test it. And boy, I was so happy to see how much dirt it was able to take off. That's why this is my new best friend. All right, so let's move on to other things that you might want to know about the Tinko iFloor 3. So first off, because this is a cordless vacuum cleaner, you'll be using battery power on this and this can run up to 30 minutes of use. And after that, you'll have to charge this for a few hours. Now, what's nice about this iFloor 3 is that there is an onboard digital display which features helpful real-time information about the machine, including battery level, power status, blockage indicators, and more. And this blockage indicator was so helpful for me, especially because it does indicate whether your brush roller is tangled. And this also has an indicator whether your 
clean water tank is already empty and then whether your dirty water tank is either full or blocked. So this LED display is so useful. So how do you use the OneTouch self-cleaning system? So once you have this docked on your charging base, you can start the self-cleaning system and this will start to clean your roller. And that's how easy it is to clean this vacuum cleaner. So basically the only thing that you really need to clean yourself is the dirty water tank. So you do have to clean this up regularly, especially after use, because if you did clean some food on the floor, then this might start to stink. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I love the Tinko iFloor 3? I'd say this is pretty much at level 10. If you've been following Pinoy Tech Dad since the first few videos, you'll know that I hate dust so much. So what's really amazing about the Tinko iFloor 3 is that you can hit two birds with one stone. You no longer have to sweep the floor before mopping it. And to be frank with you guys, both the manual sweeping and mopping of the floor are very inefficient. I mean, how many times have you swept the floor and you still see a lot of dirt remaining and then you mop it and then once you finish mopping, you still see more dirt. But with this one, I guarantee you guys, this is gonna make your cleaning process very convenient. It's gonna be very easy to clean your floor. And for those who want to get this, this is gonna be available in the Philippines on Lazada. It's gonna be on sale, so you better catch that nice deal. This is something that I would highly recommend if you do have the budget, okay? This is gonna be an expensive purchase, especially if you're from the Philippines. This is a little bit more of a luxury rather than something that you need. But for those who can't afford this, and for those who think that cleaning their home is really priceless, this is something that I can highly recommend. And I'll put all of the links in the description box. And if you're watching this from the United States or other parts of the world, this is again something that I can highly recommend. If you do have a lot of hard floors in your home, this is gonna be effective in cleaning your place. If you want a follow-up video for after using this for a few months, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to share my whole experience for using this long term. But for now, everything that I shared in this video has been from my one month experience with the Tinko iFloor 3. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.